video on this before, I'm going to show you how I make a shortening candle. See, there's my shortening. I just got it down at the little Mennonite store. You can use Crisco. You can use any shortening you want. Off-brand, it doesn't matter. And I did do a video on this, but somehow it it's not... Um, it wasn't viewed very much, and I don't know if people, if I just, you know, got it mixed in with a bunch of others, and it didn't, didn't get viewed enough or what, or people didn't realize it was there. But I do have another video on making candles, the, the whole thing, and I will put that in the, I'll put a link to that. So, but anyway, I'm just going to do one candle, and these, friends, will last a long time. Absolutely no mess. What little bit that uh, um, soap and water will clean up. So I'm going to turn my burner on because you don't want these screaming hot, but you just want this just melted. Okay. And I'm going to melt about that much. I mean, if I got extras, I'll make another candle. Doesn't matter. But I'm going to just put that in there. Just tell it just melts. You don't want it. It don't need to be screaming hot or anything like that. Just tell it just melts. And uh, you can scent these. Now this one's just for my table, and I'm not going to scent this one. You can, though. You can put any scent in them. But when you do, make sure it's an oil and not like a... Uh, uh, Oh, like vanilla extract or make sure it's an oil and not an extract because this is oil and oil and water do not mix. So, and even your candle color. I got these little candle colors. This one's purple. I'm going to do this one today with purple. Now, I got mine at Michael's and it's, it's actually, it's a liquid dye and it's an oil based and it is for wax. So that's what you want. You don't want a water-based color. You want, so you can't use food color in them. You want an oil-based wax, uh, wax color. And once I get that poured in there, that is when I'll add the color to it. And you'll see. Okay. So, see how fast that melts? It's melting pretty quick. You might, I mean, if you got that much, you might have to let it cool down a little before you pour it. But it goes pretty quick. I make these all the time. I love these. These last, they burn for a long time. And they burn beautifully. They're not like wax candles where they, you know, make a hole in the middle. These actually burn beautiful. So, you'll see that in just a minute. So, I'm going to turn my camera off while this is melting, and I've got to move my camera so you can see this entire operation. So, I'll be right back. Now, you'll be able to see it all. What did I do with my spoon? There it is. Okay, and this is melting. I'm going to turn that burner down because I don't want it hot. I just want it just melted. get my measuring cup out. I'm going to turn my heat off and I'm going to let this finish melting. I'll take it off the heat. Because see those little, there's just little, you can see there's just little, little uh, chunks in there and they'll melt real quick. Okay? You don't want this boiling or in any certain temp. You just want it just melted. And there it is. It's all melted. Okay. I'm going to pour it in my cup. I may have to melt more. I'm not sure. I may have enough. Again, I'm not sure. So, I'm going to take my candle color. I want it nice purpley. Oh, I got rid of my spoon again. See, I'm just going to mix that in there. See that beautiful color? That'll be a gorgeous purple. And it'll lighten up as it dries, so it will be a little bit lighter than what you're seeing here. Okay? So, first off, we're just going to pour that in there. And my wick, I have that with a little dot of hot glue. 
glued to the bottom so that it doesn't doesn't come up. Okay, I was pretty close. See now I gotta I gotta melt just a little bit more. Turn my burner on. Melt a little bit more of this. That should be good. I might have enough to do an extra little one because I do got more wicks. And see, I just wrap my wick around a uh, little skewer to keep it nice and straight. And that'll take about five or six hours before that candle sets and hardens and is ready to, you know, to burn. And you'll see it. It's gorgeous. I'm going to do a pantry chat today and I'm going to have that candle going in there. You can even put them in the refrigerator to get them to set up quicker. I never put them in the freezer, but I'll put them in the refrigerator. Okay, I'm going to stir that and break that up because I want that just melted. I don't want it hot. make wonderful gifts too and they do travel well and they pack well and some people have asked me if you can do it with coconut oil no you don't want to do it with coconut oil shortening and shortening only coconut oil has a low melting point and you'll have a disaster I mean you'd have to add additives to it probably but yeah this is this is just as good right here. Okay, now I'm going to put this in here. Give it a little bit of color. Stir it up and pour it in my candle. Okay. Pour it right in there. Bring it right up to the top. There we go. That's it. It's that simple. And I got a little bit left for a little tiny candle. And I'm going to do one in a little cup too. But that's it. That's how easy it is. And it's going to sit for about five hours. This one I'm going to put in a refrigerator because I want it to cool down and be ready for my pantry chit chat. So there you have it. I'm going to put a link to how you, you know, the, the full process of making this. Um, my video that I did, oh, about 10, 12 months ago, a year ago or so, I did a video on these. And I'll put a link to that video so you can watch it. And these make wonderful presents. So there you have it, friends. Thanks for watching.